uh, you will also learn about the temperature um, um, volume graph as we can see here and there are many other type tables uh, that will help you to transform raw materials into something useful but the ones mentioned here will help you to learn more about the refrigeration cycle uh, so once we uh, once you learn the chemistry and mathematical fundamentals of, uh, of different phenomena and the that you can monitor and manage raw materials through graphs, you will start integrating all the knowledge into a process to transform raw materials into tangible, tangible products. You can now see uh, that uh, we can use different machines and fittings to apply the fundamentals of the refrigeration cycle, such as a valve. A uh, here, here it is. A uh, uh, condenser, here it is. An uh, evaporator, here it is. And a compressor. Uh, also, you can see in this image how a substance follows the refrigeration cycle and it changes from the vapor phase to the liquid, uh, to the liquid one. Uh, here, the arrows red and blue uh, identifies uh, which phase we are talking about. The refrigerator is an example of an equipment that freezes products in our home and it is a real application of the fundamental that we have explained in this tutorial video. Uh, we can see in this animation how the refrigerant flows through the refrigeration cycle and it freezes. Uh, here you may notice how the fundamentals that we have discussed earlier are integrated. Here you can say you, you can notice how the the refrigerant flows through the refrigeration refrigeration cycle. Uh, of course, with uh, real applications are much more complex, and there are many other formulas uh, that are involved. Uh, please note that this is a brief explanation, and there are many other details and interesting topics that you will learn in this major. Uh, we wish you good luck, and we hope that you select the right major.